Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, O my soul, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things, he has done Things the Lord has done great things. Done great things. The Lord has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Brethren, the Bible encourages us to bless the Lord with all our soul. Bible tells us in Psalm 103, from verse 1, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Brethren, let's begin to bless the Lord. Let's begin to give him praise. Let's begin to give him honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says that the Lord we serve has not forgotten us. He has not left us. He says he's the one who forgives all our iniquities. He is the one who heals all our diseases. He is the one who redeems our lives from destruction. He is the one who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Bible says that he is the one who satisfies your mouth with good things. Begin to give him praise. Begin to give him honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor for all that you've been doing for us since the beginning of this program, O oh Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. We give you all the praise, even for the testimonies that we already have thank you jesus we give you the praise we give you the honor we give you all adoration in jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we have prayed for the next couple of minutes i'm going to be leading us into prayers for the families and um, the first bible text is taken from the book of first samuel chapter 3 from verse from verse 11 first samuel 3 from from verse 11 it's a story that, that I believe that we are all familiar with. It says that, then the Lord said to Samuel, behold, I will do something in Israel at which both ears of everyone who hears it will tingle. In that day, I will perform against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house from beginning to end. For I have told him that I would judge his house forever. For the iniquity which he knows, because his sons made themselves vile, and he and he did and he did not restrain them. Brethren, we are going to pray to God. And verse 14 says, And therefore I have sworn to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be atoned for shall not be atoned for by sacrifice or offering forever. We are going to pray for the fathers in the house because the Bible tells us here that Eli was warned of the things he needed to do. The Bible says that God warned him to take action regarding his children. The Lord said that he would judge him, his house forever, because of the iniquities of his sons because he failed to restrain them. So we're going to pray, the, the, the wives in the house, pray for your husbands. If you are a father, pray for yourself that Lord, that please open my eyes to whatever thing I need to do to address negative things in my family in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some things that our children are doing. There are some things that, you know, that God has warned us that take, I mean, do this, do that. But I mean, unfortunately for some of us, maybe we haven't heeded. Let us pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that God will teach fathers, the fathers in the house, the husbands, on how to re restrain our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, do you know that some people 
I mean, basically what happened to Eli? Maybe the Bible is not, um, the Bible doesn't clarify. Maybe Eli was afraid to talk to his children or maybe he was just too lazy about it. But the bottom line is that Eli failed to address his children. And the Bible says that because of that, that the things that God had promised Eli's family, God said, I have promised that, that Eli's house would would um you know would rule forever but he said be it far from me let's begin to pray to god that father in the mighty name of jesus whatever i'm doing whatever my children are doing that i failed to address father open my eyes in the mighty name of jesus do you know that samson's father was not strong enough he didn't encourage his son he didn't encourage his, his son enough bible says that something went to his father in the book of judges 14 and said i found a woman i, 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 I mean i missed the philistines he said, I want to marry her. But for some reason or the other, the Bible says that Samson's father failed to restrain him. And we know how Samson ended. Let's begin to pray to God. Brethren, let's begin to pray to God. That Lord, that please open my eyes. Open my ears in the mighty name of Jesus. For every father in this place, pray to God. That Lord, open the eyes and the ears of every father in the mighty name of Jesus. That when you instruct us to do anything. That when we hear you warn us in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that we need to do, help us. Help us, help us to carry them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray to God in the mighty name of Jesus. For some of us here, things are not going well in the house. Things are not going well in the home. And God is warning us, do things, something about it. But what have you done? What have I done about it? Let's begin to pray to God. The Bible is not clear on how long God had been warning Eli. But what we just heard was that it came to a point that Eli's cup of mercy had run out. Let us pray to God that Father, it would not be late for me. It would not be late for the fathers in this place as it was late for Eli in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will help us that we will, we will not run out of mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, pray for the fathers. Pray for the husbands. If you are a wife, pray for your husband. If you are, if you want to get, pray for your husband to be the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus it will not be too late it will not be too late in the mighty name of Jesus Bible, I mean, God is saying, as the Lord dropped this scriptures in my spirit, He's saying that for some of us, He has been warning us that we need to spend more time with the children. As men, spend more time with your children. Teach them the dictates, the commandments of God. But what have you done concerning that? What have you done? Do you know how many times God was warning Eli? God was warning him, but Eli failed to take action. Let us pray to God. Let us pray to God that for the fathers in this house, for the husbands that will rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. We will rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible tells us in the book of Leviticus 6 from verse 12. It says, and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt, the burnt offerings in order on it and he shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings. Verse 13 says, a fire shall always be burning on the altar. It shall never go out. Another version says, it shall not be allowed to go out. Let us pray to God that God will help us as fathers that will take the mantle that priest, that priest uh, the mantle of the priest of our various households in the mighty name of Jesus and we will erect the altar. We will ensure that the fire upon our altar never goes out in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, pray to God that God will help the men. God will help us men in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you the praise. Oh, Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you adoration because we know that today we will receive strength. We will receive strength to do that which you have us do in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Bible tells us in 2 Kings 4, 2 Kings 4 from verse 16. It's a story we all know. Um, so from verse 16 it says, it's a story of the Shunammite woman 
And, the, and Elisha, the Bible says, then he said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. And she said, no, my Lord, man of God, do not lie to your maidservant. But the woman conceived and bore a son. When the appointed time had come of her, when the appointed time had come, of which Elisha had told her, verse 18 says, and the child grew. Now it happened one day that he went out to his father, to the reapers, and he said to his father, my head, my head. So he said to a servant, carry him to his mother. When he had taken him and brought him to his mother, Bible says he sat on her knees till noon and then died. We are going to pray to God. Why did this father tell his son? It, it, I, mean, it, I, I, I mean, the man told the servants, take that child to, to the mother. Why didn't that... That, I mean, they brought the child to the father. Why couldn't he lay his hands on the child? Why couldn't he pray for the child? Because probably he wasn't used to doing it. He says, take the child to his mother. We're going to pray to God again for the fathers that God will help us. That God will help us. That, we will, that God will help us to step into the position that God has called us to in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray that Lord, that in my responsibilities as a father, I will not turn it to another in the mighty name of Jesus. Every father should be praying. Every wife should be praying for the husband, the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be like this man. They brought the child to the, to, I mean, they brought the child, the sick child, to the father. He said, carry him to his mother. What kind of father is that? Let us pray to God. The Lord, please help me. Please help me. Help me, Lord. Pray to God, the Lord, that you will give every father the wisdom to know what to do whenever duty calls. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray that God will help us. He will help us he will help us. The father probably sent the child to the mother because that's what he has been doing on previous, on previous occasions. But he didn't know that this one, this time was too costly. This time was too important for him to do that which he was supposed to do. Let us pray to God that God will help us. That God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that as fathers, as husbands, that God will help to strengthen us in our inner man. In the mighty name of Jesus that on the day of trouble on the day of trouble we will know what to do begin to pray begin to pray to God that Lord please help me lead me by your spirit that on the day of trouble I will know what to do in the mighty name of Jesus oh father we give you the praise father we give you the honor father we give you all adoration in Jesus mighty name we are prayed in Jesus mighty name we are prayed an example of what a man should do is found in Genesis 25, verse 21. Genesis 25, 21 is a perfect example. Bible says that now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his plea. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. We're going to pray to God once again that as fathers, as husbands, we will not fail in our responsibilities in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray to God. Because the Bible tells us that Isaac Isaac stood in the gap. He stood in the gap for his wife in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help us. Father, please help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says that he stood in the gap. He pleaded to the Lord. He saw that his wife had an issue and the Bible says that he prayed to God for his wife because she was barren. And the Bible says the Lord granted his plea. That tells us that as husbands, the prayer you pray over your wife, the Lord will grant it in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to decree and declare husbands in the house that Lord, that every area of lack or need in my wife's life, help me Lord to stand in the gap for her. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I cannot hear you praying. Begin to pray and decree that Lord, please satisfy my, my wife's mouth with good things so her strength will be renewed like the eagles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray and decree that Lord, that everywhere, anywhere, in the lives of our wives where they are experiencing barrenness bible says that that Rebecca was barren. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus that any area of our wives' lives that they are experiencing barrenness, Father, we cause that barrenness to the roots in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray today, oh Lord, for our wives, <coughs> husbands, pray for your wives that if my wife is experiencing physical barrenness, Father, we pray that you will uproot that tree of barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray 
that our wives will experience fruitfulness in their careers in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because husbands, they have, the, I mean, God has given us something, something, there's something about a husband praying for his wife. Pray to God that, Lord, let my wife experience fruitfulness in our spiritual work with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Fathers begin to declare that concerning my wife, my wife is fruitful. Concerning my wife, she's a virtuous woman. Concerning my wife, she will do me good and no evil all the days of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. Husbands begin to decree and, de and declare over your wife that strength and honor are her clothing in the mighty name of Jesus. My, my wife, she will rejoice in time to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare Cree and declare that when my wife opens her mouth, it shall be filled with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. On her tongue shall be found the law of kindness in the mighty name of Jesus. Decree and declare over your wife that our children will rise up and call her blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray to God that I myself, I will rise up and sing of her praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Many daughters have done well, but for my wife, she will exceed them all in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. We give you all adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We are going to pray for mothers at this time, wives, mothers at this time. I'll still taking um, a, a scripture from the book of Second Kings 4, from, but from verse 22. Bible says, then she called, this was after, um, after her husband had sent, sent the child back to her. Bible says that then she called to her husband and said, please send me one of the young men and the donkeys, and one of the donkeys, that I may run to the man of God and come back. So he said, why are you going to him today? That's the husband. Why are you going to him? This man didn't even know that, you know, the child was dead. He says, why are you going to him today? It is neither the new moon nor the Sabbath. And she said, it is well. And she said, it is well. Then she saddled a donkey and said to her servant, drive and go forward. Do not slack, slacken the pace for me unless I tell you. And so she departed and went to the man of God at Mount Carmel. <clears throat> I'm going to pray once again for our wives, our, our mothers this, here today. Because she could have easily told the man that, are you crazy? Her husband has that, but I mean, her child has, is dead. But what did she say? She said, it is well. We're going to pray to God that, Father, that the type of wisdom and discretion that this woman exhibited, let every mother, let every wife in this place exhibit in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. So wives, pray for yourself. Husbands, pray for your wife. That the kind of discretion, I don't know the kind of spirit this woman had, but she was so calm in the midst of trouble, in the midst of her trials, she was still able to say that it is well. Pray to God that Lord, let every mother, let every wife, let them be led by the Spirit to know that when situations like this arise, it is not time to fight. It is not time to quarrel. It is not time to abuse the husband in the mighty name of Jesus. The woman said it is well. She took the situation to God. Pray to God that Lord, because we know that even as she said it, so it came. If you read the story, the Bible says eventually that son, it was well with that child. It was well with that child. Pray to God. God, the Lord that help our wives, help our mothers in the mighty name of Jesus, that when things like this arise, they will take the case to God and not fight with man in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, do you know that some battles, some battles are not uh, physical? Some of these battles, they are spiritual. Pray to God that when I'm supposed to fight a spiritual battle, I will not use physical means to fight spiritual battles in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray to God, <clears throat> brethren. Pray to God that Lord, for our mothers and our wives, in the sight of trouble, in the sight of distress, give them the right words to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. If this woman has said the wrong words, this child might have remained dead forever. But pray to God that Lord, as this woman prophesied, she prophesied goodness, what she wanted to see. She prophesied give these women give our wives even that discretion in the mighty name of Jesus that they will prophesy they will prophesy the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus <clears throat> father we give you praise father we give you honor <clears throat> we give you all adoration 
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs 31, from verse 1, Proverbs 31, 1, it says, the words of King Lemuel. <clears throat> Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs 31, 1 says, the words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him. If we read that verse, if we read it down, it talks about the different things that King Lemuel's mother told him. He told him he shouldn't give his strength to women. He told him he should not be um, given to wine. He says, because wine intoxicates. So many things, but the Bible, what I want us to key on there is that the Bible says that the words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him. That means that his mother spent time with him when he was a boy. His mother taught him the things he should do. And because of what his mother taught him, Bible tells us that this young man grew up to become the king. We are going to pray to God that, Lord, please don't let our mothers, our wives, be too busy to spend quality time with their children in the mighty name of Jesus. We know how the, the society is. People are busy. You have to go uh, I mean, up and down. But we are going to pray that God will give us the grace, the, the wives, the mothers, the grace, even to teach their children, to spend time with the children, even as, as King Lemuel's mother. The Bible says she taught him and this man became the king our, our prayer is that as the mothers the wives as God gives you the grace as you spend time with your children your children will come out successful in the mighty name of Jesus they will do great things in the mighty name of Jesus father we give you praise we give you honor we give you all adoration in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed our next prayer point is for the children <clears throat> and as a roundup Bible tells us in Psalm 127 verse 3, it says, children are the heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb is a reward. We're going to read Genesis 34 from verse 1. It says, now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had born to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and violated her. I'm going to pray to God in the name of Jesus. That because the, th the thing is, no matter how protective we are, we cannot be with our children 100% of the time. I mean, Dina had 12 brothers. But this was one time that she was alone. And the Bible says she joined herself with the daughters of the land. And the Bible says in that process, she was violated. They took her, they lay with her, they raped her, they violated her. We're going to pray to God that Father, that let our children be led by your spirit to take the right decisions in the mighty name of Jesus. Because some mistakes are too costly to make. Do you know that once that lady was violated, I mean, it was a disgrace to Israel. It became a disgrace to Israel. Let us pray to God that our children would not venture out to strange people, to, 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 I mean, to, to, to see the strange daughters of the land in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to pray to God that Father, our children, male or female, they would not be violated in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray to God that our children would not venture into the camp of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray to God that Lord, where our children will go,